Hi guys, um, this is a tutorial or whatever you want to call it to make your computer faster. Yes, it's magic, I'm making a computer faster. But, and we are also going to look at two programs which make this thing a little bit easier for the non advanced user. So, first of all, I want to go through all the advanced stuff showing how you can do things manually. First of all, you can go to start and click in here msconfig in the search file fields, whatever, and just go ahead and start this program by clicking it or by clicking enter. Then you want to just click continue and first of all you want to go to boot, then go to advanced options which you see here is a booted once option thing and number of processors you want here is two because you most likely have a dual core or a quad core because that's the new thing in the processor world as I said but you want to have two or more if you have more processors it should make your computer a little bit faster and next we'll go and look at services at services you want to go and click hide all Microsoft services because those are the only services you really need on your computer and now you can see there's a bunch of stuff like Bluetooth service I never use Bluetooth and I got some Symantec Tech Corporation which is my old antivirus program which I don't use anymore and it's still here running for some reason I did uninstall it but it didn't really go away and here's something from the high risk studios which I really don't know what is but it's running and it says it takes up a lot of a lot of place or processor and memory on my computer so I will just go ahead and click disable all and now I'm a little bit happier because my computer is a little bit faster for every click I do. Okay, here is the startup program. Uh, these are the programs that starts on your computer when you start up your your computer. And I don't know, if you start up your computer, I don't really need think you need Skype, Steam, Messenger, uh, Bluetooth, uh, Adobe Acrobat, BitTorrent and everything every time you go to your computer. So you can just start them manually. This won't destroy your programs at all. It will just disable them. So it won't automatically start up. You have to manually start them up instead. And well, it's kind of neat. And I also see here I have have something called HP Wireless Assistant. I already have a Windows Internet Assistant, so I really don't need the HP Wireless Assistant either. And I do not need uh, the other HP Wireless Assistant I got here. It and I got a third there one as, as well. So. 3, 4 internet assistant services. I, I don't really think I need to start up everything at all the time. And if you, it's no problem like disconnecting Java as well because it will automatically, automatically start up if it gets us to do so. Like in a game on flash game or on internet or something. So I'll just go ahead and click app, app play or apply or whatever whatever blah you talk go ahead click OK I've done this already on my computer so I'll just go ahead and click exit without restart at the moment you should click restart so next thing thing we will see is um, disk cleanup uh, by disk cleanup this you will delete a lot of stuff that your computer just saved as history on your computer, you're really not needed. 
you can access it by clicking accessories in your stat start panel and then go system tools and then go to disk cleanup or you can just simply search for disk cleanup by typing it in here and there you go it's on the top disk cleanup it looks like this you just choose which files you want to clean up and it cleans up for you and I won't clean it up right now because my computer uses to usually lags when I do it so that won't make a good movie and next thing I will look at is is uh, making the performance better on its visual and making the visual worse pretty easy uh, first of all you want to go to control panel then go to system and maintenance or and system and then go to advanced system settings uh, the second way you can find this is just by typing it down here advanced system sys I think I misspelled something system settings it sometimes doesn't work but you can always find system in here and there is system configuration it was called no that was MS configuration well, anyway, you can just go ahead and click Advanced System Settings. Then go ahead and click Continue. And we want to take a look at Advanced Performance, Virtual Effects, Processor Scheduling, Memory Usage, and Virtual Memory. So I will go ahead and click Settings. And as you can see, my computer is now on Best per Appearance. I will go ahead and show you the best performance option it kind of sucks but as you can see it looks like an old version of Windows uh, the best thing you should do here to have the ultimate appearance and the best performance is to go down here and click use visual styles on Windows and buttons if I go ahead and click that and apply that you can see that my window looks nearly alike as it was when it wasn't best performance appearance sorry uh, I can go ahead and click best appearance again and you can see the similarities there's really no big differences if you ask me there you go that's the difference but it in fact makes your computer 5-10% faster so I will just go ahead and click use visual styles on windows and buttons click ok ok and now I will show you the two programs that I was talking about in the start in the movie uh, we are looking at crap cleaner and gboost crap cleaner is um, just like the disk uh, cleanup but you here you have the option of uh, what you want to clean up as you can see here on Internet Explorer you can delete everything that is saved on Internet Explorer which means you can lose your history as it says here and you can lose your no you have in fact not the option of deleting your favorites so that should be okay and you can delete your saved passwords you can also you have also the uh, the option of MC recycle bin which is easily accessed up here by clicking here it will delete everything here and it should be pretty easy to fix and everything if you want to learn more about this I suggest you go to Google and just go ahead and uh, search what it is like Windows temporary files if you go to Google and search that you will most likely get a hit and you'll learn what it is and you also have an 
button here for application and here you can find Google Chrome, Firefox, Adobe Acrobat, things like Skype and MSN and Steam and all all tons of stuff. And you can if you want to delete anything history or anything unnecessary if it saves you can just go ahead and click it. You also have a registry face with there's loads of problem with Windows so you can just go ahead and scan for issues uh, sometimes now and then and it will make your computer run a little bit smoother and uh, I will also leave uh, the, the download link in the section below my video so you can check out everything and have a nice day, really. I will also show you tools. H here you can see uninstall. Every program on your computer is here, so if you have a program that you don't want to have on your computer, you can easily just go inside CC Cleaner and go to tools and it finds everything for you, like Global Agenda Launcher. But I will warn you not to delete everything like real tech and certain control driver driver which is a really important thing you shouldn't delete them and again as you see here there's a option for startup as in the MS config we saw here and well you can go ahead and click around the program more if you like to the next thing I want to show you is GBoost. GBoost is uh, originally made for gamers, but I wouldn't say it's made for gamers because, well, it makes a computer faster. It removes all your pro it it shuts down all your programs running on your computer, making it the best possible as it can and you have easy options here just to click yes and no and well and it usually thing do that thing I showed you with the appearances and a bunch of stuff and I will also click make a download link in the section below and you can take it from there you can see how it what it does it definitely killed a lot of processes and programs on my computer so it's really nice really happily it didn't close down my record recorder program <laughs> so that's nice I didn't think of that and if you want if you want your program to be set to normal again, you can just go ahead and click press to restore and all your programs comes back up and you can see all my all my windows is and everything comes was it like it was originally installed. Hope this helps you guys and I'm getting really bored by talking to you guys so have a nice day and hope this really helps you.